If you are an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur, this book needs to be on your table. Hey guys, my name is Sonali and you're watching Sonali the Investor. Today we are back with another book review and I'm going to review Edge of Sanity by Deepak Kanak Raju. Edge of Sanity is a book that talks about how an entrepreneur can succeed in their journey without losing their sanity. If you are into online marketing or even if you have started to discover this industry, it is an absolute sin not to know who the author is. Deepak Kanak Raju, also known as Digital Deepak in the online space, is a blogger and a digital marketer. After building a successful motorcycle blog back in 2012, and working with successful digital marketing startups. He is now the proud co-owner of his own digital marketing agency known as Pixel Track. He also has a hub of online courses related to online marketing and is now putting social back into social media by creating this offline digital marketing clubs where marketers can meet and grow together. I was grateful enough to be a speaker at one of his events recently known as High Traffic Summit. I also feel immense pride in stating that I happen to know Deepak Sir in person. So reviewing his first book is an absolute honor in itself. If you have been following my book review series for a while, you know that I mostly review self-help and personality development related books. I have read and reviewed a couple of business books, but perhaps I was waiting for something to match more of my taste. This book seems to be the perfect fit. Short, crisp and powerful, Edge of Sanity is a compilation of all the lessons that Deepak Sir has learned throughout his own entrepreneurial journey. While reading the book, it almost felt like I was reading his personal journal with a total of 37 chapters. Each chapter is very to the point with tons of thought-provoking messages. Right from having a startup idea to balancing work and life and keeping yourself safe at the edge of sanity. It took me one day to complete the entire book, not even 24 hours, just because it is compiled and arranged so well. Every chapter has an element of curiosity and you almost can't hold yourself back from reading the next chapter. It's kind of like watching or binge watching a web series. Now let's talk about a few of my personal takeaways from Edge of Sanity. Number one, prioritize your fears. One of the best things that I've learned from this book is to look at fear in a different light. We're all taught how to handle fear or get over fear. But this book teaches us the importance of going through and growing through fear without ignoring it. He says that when we fear something, instead of distracting our minds or depending upon wishful thinking, we have to pay close attention to what scares us the most. Instead of running away from the reality that makes us uncomfortable, we need to face our fears and make necessary arrangements to tackle it. The more we face our fears, the better we get at decision making. So be ready to face fear in its full intensity. Number two, collaboration over competition. It is a myth to find an industry or an idea which has no competition. No competition usually means no growth or demand for the specific product or service. So every entrepreneur and startup needs to face competition. Deepak Sir changes our view on competition and urges us to collaborate with them and share our audiences. He says that we look at every person as threat because we feel that resources are limited. But in reality, there is abundance in our society. There is enough for everyone. No one key player in any industry has the ability to eat the entire pie by themselves. So when you start collaborating and working with other key players in the game, you have the advantage of combined leadership and combined fan base. Number three. Culture is the invisible co-founder. The best companies in the world have the best people working for them. A great company cannot be built without great people. So it is very important to maintain harmony at workplace. The energy of the workplace needs to be aligned to a common goal. So if there are any disputes among your team members, be sure to check and understand them. Don't ignore the small cracks in the relationship. Your place of work is your temple. Make sure the vibe is stress-free. Thus, work culture is like the invisible co-founder of the company who has the power to bring back the startup from the dead. So take disturbances at workplace seriously. Apart from these lessons, the book covers all aspects of being an entrepreneur, right from the ideation stage to manifesting your biggest dreams. All in all, if you're looking for a handbook on entrepreneurship, something which you can refer to over and over again, then you should definitely get this book right now. Currently, the book is at number eight on entrepreneurship in Amazon India. Let's make it number one. Do not forget to get your copy and share your views on Amazon and jot down your own key takeaways so that others can benefit from them too. Let me know if you enjoyed this review because I have actually worked on this review a lot. I shot this review twice because the first time the mic was not connected. So if you like this review, let me know what was your biggest lesson in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified for my next video. Cheers!